Hello, welcome back to another video on math. My name is Karen and we will be doing some continuation with math problems. Um, specifically today, we are working with something called polynomials. And polynomials is one of my favorite math skills to work on. It's actually kind of fun and super easy. So if you have a pen and paper ready or your pencil, we can get ready to go. I'm just going to write down some problems for you to solve really quickly. By the way, if you are not ready, just go ahead, run, get something to write with, and we'll be ready to go in 10 seconds. Okay, ready? Let's just take a look at number one. So, as you can see, this is a short problem. It is 6v, in the parentheses we have 2v plus three. Okay, did you write that down? Okay, so, make sure you wrote it down. So all you're going to do is multiply your number and your variables. And of course, my marker is running out of ink. Alrighty, so take a look at this. The way we arrived at our answer is I multiplied six times two, and I came up with six times two became 12. I brought over my V. I have two V, so my answer here is 12V squared, okay? Then I multiplied six V times three and I came up with 18V. As you see, we only have one V when we're multiplying here. So I just bring over my V, no square. Really simple. 12V squared plus 18V is our answer. All right. Okay, so the second one is just a little bit different. Uh, okay, so we are going to start utilizing something called the FOIL method on this particular problem. Now on the FOIL method, all you do is have to remember F-O-I-L, and that stands for first, outer, inner, and last. First, outer, inner, and last, okay? So what you're going to do is you are going to multiply first times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, and last times last. Okay, I'll say that again. You, you utilize the FOIL method. First times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, and last times last. Now, if that is confusing to you, it's better just to go ahead and write the first letter for FOIL over each number. So if you have a hard time remembering, your four is first, and your two, N, is also first. Now, your four N again is outer, and your six is an outer. Your one is an inner number, so I would write I above the one. Your two N is also an inner number because they're closest together. And my two last numbers are also one and six. 
1 and 6. Okay. Now, now that we've distinguished which ones are first, outer, inner, last, we just multiply. My 4n times my 2n is giving me 8n squared. Remember that because you have two n's, you have to apply the square or it's going to be incorrect. Okay? We have no negative sign, so everything in this problem is going to constitute a positive sign. Okay? So now we multiply our outer times outer, which is our 4n and our 6. That is going to be 24n plus our inner times inner, 1 times 2n, which is going to be 2n. And then if you wrote your L's last and last, you should multiply 1 times 6, which would give us just a 6. No variable, no exponent. So right now on your paper, you should have 8n squared plus 24n plus 2n plus 6. That's all. Okay. Now we're at the very last step of the problem, which is easier than any of that we've just done, okay? So you have your 8n squared and you're just going to drop that down. Your middle numbers with your n's only, you see your middle numbers, the 24 and the two? Okay, since those each have an n or a variable behind it, you're gonna add those two. So 24 plus two is 26. 26n, oh, there go my pin top, never mind. So that was a 26n, and then we're going to just simply drop down the last number with a 6. So your answer is 8n squared plus 26n plus 6, and you are done. Okay, really simple. All you have to do is make sure you know your multiplication facts, and you have it. Okay. I am going to give you a few minutes to complete the last one, and then we will compare answers for number three. Okay, almost done. All right, let's see how you did with this particular problem. Okay, so did you multiply your 5p and your 6p? So your 5p and your 6p will be 30p squared. Hopefully you multiplied that first. And then your next numbers will be 6p times eight. Then your next numbers will be what? If you said eight times 5p, that is correct. And then your last numbers are eight times eight. Okay. Just lost something on my board here. Bear with me for one second. Oh, my marker runs out. 
Next time we meet, I promise I will have a new marker that is not going to run out on us. Okay. So, hopefully you can see that. The top is my answer. 30p square minus 8p minus 64. And we are done. Okay. Hope this helped you with explanation on how to multiply polynomials. Um, it's really simple. As long as you know your multiplication facts, you should have no problem at all. Remember F-O-I-L, first, outer, inner, last, and that will take you to the right, um, correct answer every time. Thanks so much.